On this question, we want to solve the logarithmic equation. I have this equation, log base 4 of 5x minus 6 equals 3. And I want to solve this equation. There are two main methods that we typically solve log equations with. And one of them is um, called the property of equality. And it follows the pattern something like this, log base b of a equals log base b of c. So you have to have the log with the same base on both sides. And then you're allowed to simplify by saying what's inside the log on the left is equal what's inside the log on the right. So that's one of the techniques that we typically use to solve logarithmic equations. We can't use that here because we don't have a log on the right-hand side of the equation. So let's see if the other method would be a good one to use. So the other method is to take your log equation and convert it to an exponential equation. So if you have something like y equals log base b of uh, x, then you can rewrite this log equation with the base to the y power equals x. So it allows you to rewrite that equation in something that's more familiar. And with this method, you typically only have log on one side of the equation, which is what we have in this example. So this is the method we're going to choose to do for this example. So let's convert this log equation to an exponential. It has a base of 4, so the base of the exponent will be 4. The log always equals the exponent, so we'll have an exponent of 3. And this expression is going to equal the expression inside of the log. That's the pattern that you follow every time you convert the log to an exponential. Then let's work out what 4 to the third power is. 4 to the third power is 64. We'll solve this equation by getting x by itself. We're going to add 6 to both sides. That gives me 70 equals 5x. Then we'll divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 14. So 14 is my proposed solution, and the reason why I say it that way is because with log equations, you should check your work every time, and what you're checking for is that the solution that you came up with is in the domain of your log. So our log is log base 4 of 5x minus 6. We want to substitute that value of 14 in for x, we have 5 times 14 minus 6, and that's going to be 70 minus 6. And what we're looking for is it to be a positive value. For the logarithms, the domain is only positive numbers. You can only take the log of a positive number. So because this value came out to be positive, we know that 14 is in the domain of this log expression. So our solution is x equals 14. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.